Hello and welcome to another quick tip video from Love into Blender. In this short video I want to show you how to add or better said how to fake volumetric lightning in Blender in cycles more precisely. So this is the final image, uh, the final render but we're just gonna focus on the volumetric lightning. So as you all know volumetric lightning is not supported yet in cycles in Blender 2.66a so we're gonna fake that and let's get started I wanna show you how to do that and for that I just set up a quick scene it's a quick scene love into Blender logo as you can see in here and we have a ground plane camera of course and this is just an emitter object and another one in there. Okay, so first to add volumetric lightning, I have to create another scene. So I have one scene in here, which is this one. I'm gonna press the plus sign and link objects. So now I have two scenes, this one and this one, which are basically identical, just that in this, uh, they are linked the objects from the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the cycles render to be blender render. So on the first scene we have cycles render and on the second scene we have blender render. And I can rename this, let's just say volumetric lighting. Lighting, yeah, I think I spelled correctly, <laughs> I think. And we're gonna add a spot lamp on this scene. Okay, spot. Just place it as you wish. I'm gonna place it as the one on the final render. Okay, so behind the logo till about here and rotate it something like this. Okay, so I think that distance is fine. Uh, it seems to be all right and I have some settings in here first I want to check halo because that uh, applies the volumetric lightning if you don't check halo you won't have any volumetric lightning okay so we have in here intensity and step and you can uh, play around with those options with any test in here with the energy okay but I'm gonna explain what the step does so the step adds volumetric shadows. Okay, I'm gonna open my final render again. So you can see in here we have some light and in here we have some shadows because the objects block them, block the light. Okay, so you need to add steps to make volumetric shadows. Okay, so this is how it works. If it's zero it won't have any volumetric shadow and uh, this can have a value between 0 and 12 uh, it's not as you expect it because if it's one it's the best quality and of course it will render slower if you raise it it will have a lower quality but it will be quicker to render so if you increase this the quality uh, the quality lowers Okay, so a step of one will be okay. Now I'm gonna go to my scene. And, okay, sorry. First we need some trick in here on the layers. We have a, at render we have layers. And we're not actually gonna render uh, the scene in Blender because all the materials are done in cycles and it won't work anyway. So it's just gonna uh, move the move the uh, this what's called uh, uh, the emitter or the uh, just a second the spot lamp yeah sorry okay we're gonna move the spot lamp to uh, another layer an empty layer which is the second one. 
and we're gonna leave the rest of the objects on the first one and in here we're gonna render both scenes so both this one and we're gonna only render the second layer which is the layer with the uh, with the lamp okay but we need to use the first layer as a mask so we only render the layer where the lamp is but we use the first layer as a mask the layer with the object okay so pretty much this is everything we're gonna do on the second scene volumetric lighting and back to the first scene just gonna hit a quick render F12 ok I'm gonna pause the video till this finishes ok now it finished render and I'm gonna open my node editor in here ok so split that window and go to node editor ok I'm gonna switch in here I have uh, shader nodes I'm gonna go to the compositor and I'm gonna show you how to add the volumetric lightning in cycles as you can see we're currently on scene on the first scene okay so I have as you can see it's a little bit complicated but that's not the purpose of this tutorial okay I'm just gonna show you the volumetric so first we need to add another render layer and we're gonna switch the layer to be volumetric lightning okay and I'm gonna check backdrop to see what's happening and we're gonna combine those two layers together of course by adding a mix node so color mix and just change it from mix to screen and now we're gonna combine this just grab the first layer and the second one and combine those two together okay so this factor in here changes the uh, the more you add the more you will see the lightning the volumetric lightning and the more you lower this you will only see the uh, the first layer which is the layer without volumetric lining ok so I actually need to hit F12 again for this to show and I'm gonna do that ok I'm gonna pause the video ok my render finished and this is what you see here ok so currently it's a little bit too much so I'm gonna just lower this and pretty much this is the effect that we're gonna have so I'm gonna plug this in here to define a render as well okay so if you're a little bit confused about how you do this because uh, normally you don't have all these nodes in here so I'm just gonna delete them and you only have this one node which is the render layer ok so basically how you add that you just add another render layer you change it to be volumetric lightning and you just combine those two using a mix node change to screen ok so that's how you combine those two and make a scene a cycle scene with volumetric lightning okay so thank you thank you for watching this is all for today if you have any com comments or questions please leave them below and yeah see you next time